Hey guys, Steffi Cohen here. I'm here with Josh and I'm gonna take him through some ankle mobility drills to help fix your squat. Ready? Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's talk about the ankle joint for a second. It's important in the ankle that it has both mobility and stability. So mobility refers to just the ability to move freely without restrictions and stability that it can actually take your weight plus the weight of the bar and keep you in one piece grounded to the, grounded to the floor. So we're gonna address both of those things in this video. The first exercise that I'm gonna show you is for to improve mobility, okay? So all you're gonna need is a thick band that you're gonna put in between. So these are your malleoli. I want that band to be slightly lower than that because that's where the tibia articulates where, with the first little bone of your foot, okay? So don't put it up here. Up here is doing nothing. You're gonna feel those two bony little parts and you're gonna put it right below. So go ahead and take a step forward and now go into like a lunge. Okay, you're gonna put both hands on your knee. You're gonna make sure that your ankle stays on the floor all the time. What you're gonna do, you're gonna push forward, find that restriction, hold it there for maybe 20, 30 seconds, and then come back. And the most important thing here is to go in all angles. So not just going forward, but also try to go forward and kind of like medial and medial. Hold it there, come back, go forward and lateral. and like such, okay? So remember, hold it 20, 30 seconds in each position. Keep your heel down on the ground and make sure that the band is below the malleoli of your foot, okay? So that first exercise that we went through is mostly for the joint itself, the joint, the capsule itself. The, this exercise I'm gonna show you is for the actual muscles that run in the back of your leg, so for your calf muscles. A lot of you people may have done this exercise before. It's a pretty mainstream one, but I'm gonna show you a little tweak of how you can make it implemented and make it a little bit better, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna do one leg at a time. You're gonna drop your heel to the ground, and once you encounter that end range where you can't go anymore, I want you to try you pu to pull your toe towards your face. So like you're trying to pull your toe up, okay? And you're trying to hold that position, hold it, hold it, pull your toe up, and then go down even lower, okay? And then you wanna hold that stretch probably for around a minute and a half to two minutes, okay? And remember, so while you do that, remember that all of these fixes, you can't expect to do it one time and to see a result. It's like anything in, in fitness and in life, you gotta continue to do it all the time in order to see progress and results. So if you have good ankle mobility, I would suggest that you probably use uh, a higher step so that you can go lower, okay? All right, and the final exercise I'm gonna show you, we're gonna be seating down right here. So once you've found that new range, I like to think about it like this. Finding a new range and not stabilizing it is like typing a lengthy Word document and never clicking save. You're not doing anything if you're acquiring new end ranges of motion, but you can't really access them, you can't really use them, you can't stabilize in those ranges. And it's in fact, it's as dangerous as not having enough range of motion. They're both in kind of like the opposite ranges of the spectrum, but they're both as detrimental for your longevity in powerlifting, okay? So this next exercise, it's called, um, it comes from a, a, a school called functional range conditioning. And it's basically to that, okay? So I'm gonna show you first how to do it, right? You can either grab your foot like this. This might be uncomfortable for some people, but essentially you're bringing your toe all the way up as hard as you can, okay? And when you bring it up, you're trying to contract every single part of your body. That's called irradiation. So you can access as many muscles as possible. If you bring your toe in, then you rotate externally out. Then you bring your toe down, and then you bring your toe in and go back up. And then you reverse it, out, in, out, up, All right? Let's try that. Yep. You wanna do it slow, try to contract every single part in your body, your quads, the front of your thigh, the back of your thigh, back of your leg, and go up. Good, externally rotate. But point your toes down all the way, all the way, all the way. Good. To the right and up. Good. Good. You can repeat that 
three sets of five or three sets of eight if you can, but it should be challenging, you should be sweating, you should be shaking, it should be, should be difficult, okay? It's not just like moving your ankle around like that. You should be putting in a little bit more effort, all right? So those are my three exercises for ankle mobility. I hope you enjoy and hope that you find it helpful.